What's up guys, One Way Up here back with another video. And in this video, I'll be talking about trash talking. So jumping into today's topic. In this video, I'll be giving you two ways on how to handle trash talk. Now this is gonna be for people who don't like trash talk or people who engage in it and just giving you two options as to how I feel is the best way that you can handle trash talk. So trash talk is very common in sports. We all know that, we see it, it's very prevalent. When basketball, football, soccer, whatever sport it is, trash talk does have its places in it. Now trash talk doesn't only apply to sports, it can also translate into school Let's say you and other people in your class are going back and forth over grades that they got on a certain test or things like that. Trash talk can also translate into work, whether you guys are going back and forth with coworkers over your performance or sales numbers. Trash talk can also translate into just people talking about their bodies. You could be with a group of friends and you guys could be working out together and you guys could be trash talking back and forth over how many reps you can do or what you've accomplished over a certain amount of time. So trash talk does translate into many other things besides sports. And I have personally came up with two things as to how I can handle trash talk. With these two things, you can choose which one you want to go about depending on the kind of person you are or the situation that you're in because I've been able to use both options when it came to trash talk depending on who I was going against or my current state of mind or performance level. So the first way of handling trash talk is to go right back at the person and use what you're saying as fuel and motivation for you to deliver on winning or whatever it is that you're trying to do. I know in basketball when it came to legends like Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, even Magic Johnson at certain times, they were all engaging in trash talk against their opponents. And one of the things that I heard Michael Jordan say was that he used trash talk as motivation to push him to elevate his game in order to beat the other opponent or the person that he's trash talking against, even in practice. So I think that's a good way to Think about and go about your trash talk if you're the kind of person who feeds off of that energy of going back and forth with someone and saying things and letting it motivate you to deliver on your promise or what you're saying. So I've done this this way before. Uh, it also depends on whom I'm going against or whom I'm playing against. And it also depends on the situation or the competition that I'm going in. It could be sports, it could be school, it all depends on the situation. So with the second way of handling trash talk, that way is to not say anything at all to the other person, basically to tune them out and to let your results dictate the outcome. So with the second way of handling trash talk, it is basically getting you to block out what they're saying, not letting what the other person is saying throw you off mentally and affect your game or whatever it is that you're doing. With this way of handling trash talk, you are going to completely zoom in and focus on what you need to do and completely block out everything else around you, the words, whatever they're saying. It may cause them to speak more or less depending on the person that's trash talking you. But the whole point of this second way of handling trash talk is to get you to focus on what it is you need to do and then let your results dictate the outcome. So sometimes when I'm dealing with a trash talker, I more likely go with this second approach because it makes me more motivated to get the win. And once the win is there, there's pretty much nothing the other person can say at that point. So using this way or the first way, which is going back and forth with the person, depends on who you are, the situation, and the person you're going against. So with that being said, think about this. Next time you are in a situation that you're engaged in trash talk and use whichever option works best for you. 
So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.